Hi, I'm Irit, and I want to share with you this fun demo of some of the mirror image compositions I enjoy printing these days. If this is the first time you are hearing of botanical printing, I'm glad you are here. These beautiful prints were made with this artistic technique. This technique makes it possible to imprint both the color and the shape of different plants. On natural surfaces such as fabric, paper, wood, leather and ceramics. Isn't it magic? To make this magic happen, you need to create a direct contact between plants and the chosen surface and to design a beautiful composition. Here I am printing chrysanthemum flowers on a piece of silk. After making sure there was a good contact between plants and the fabric, I am rolling everything together. Now it's ready to be steamed. This is what we called in botanical printer's jargon a bundle. There are different kinds and methods to create bundles. Each kind of bundle will give a different outcome. These are freestyle prints. These are prints with natural white and clean backgrounds. And these fabric are printed in a technique that gives colorful background. In this video, I will demonstrate a variety of compositions of mirror images like in these pieces. Spring has arrived in Israel and the chrysanthemus is one of the species of flowers that can be seen around every corner. This is Napoleon Hill and it is located near Tel Aviv. In spring, the hill is covered with marvelous carpets of yellow chrysanthemus. How can I resist printing them? With all my years of experience researching and developing printing techniques, I always find myself going back to chrysanthemus, just like in my early days of printing. Every spring, I wonder whether I have already printed them in every possible way. And every spring, their print surprised me with their versatility and beauty. I will use chrysanthemus for demonstrating some mirror image compositions but you can use these methods with many other flowers, leaves or bark. I always start the bundle with a wet and well squeezed piece of fabric. To create mirror images, I need my fabric to be folded in half. First of all, it will create contact between the plants and the two sides of the fabric. And second, by rolling the upper part up to the middle, like this, placing the plants here, then finally, covering everything with the upper part, I will create a mirror image of print. When I place the plants on the fabric, I imagine what the print will look like and decide how to lay them. Let's see some ideas of layouts for mirror images possibilities. When we work on a mirror composition, we must take into consideration the line where the fabric is folded. This is our reference when we place the plants on the fabric. I can place many of them together along the entire fabric, creating an end-to-end -end mirror image. We can also place the plants on the fabric in a way that creates a space between the prints. I can also place plants not from the direction of the fold, from the middle of the fabric, but plants placed at the edge of the fabric. In this way, I can create a frame around the fabric. 
prince coming from the outside and prince from the middle that create this kind of mirror image. I can also shorten the stems and bring the flowers closer to the fabric fold, laying the flowers in all sorts of ways. The print here will not be very far from the folding line. I do not place flowers with two long stems that reach to the middle, but keep them close to the line. I will now place another row of flowers at the end of the fabric. I do not go very deep into the fabric, not putting them like that. I do not mix them, just leaving a space here. This will create a central element in the middle of the fabric and a flower frame at the edge. Another option is not to refer at all to the folding point and to create a frame around the edge of the fabric. One more option is to arrange a circle of flowers in the center and a few flowers at the corners. I can also thicken it with more flowers. Now I will roll everything into a bundle on a wooden dowel and it is ready to be steamed. In order to get prints, it is not enough to just lay plants on a fabric. We must prepare the fabric for the printing process. This crucial stage is called mordanting, and it makes the magic of botanical printing come true. You can find some written information about mordanting underneath this video. If you want to deepen your knowledge in botanical printing, I'm inviting you to visit my website and learn more about the courses available. I will continue gathering more flowers and enjoying this lovely spring day. I just want to warn you, botanical printing can be highly addictive, but I promise you, it will be a creative, eco-friendly and joyful addiction.